I hope you're doing good. Thank you so much for joining me. This is A Touch of Tarot, and we are getting right into your reading. If you want any info on personal readings, you can find the info below. Let's see what's coming out for Libra for March. Okay, Libras. So I feel like this is actually meant to be in the reverse, um, and I'll, I'll talk about that after. Wow. So here we go. Here we go. Wow. Okay. So Libra, something is happening here. I'm seeing like renewal, release, which is interesting. Um, but let's start here. Hey, I'm getting an executive decision needed to be made. And you've come out of the pause right here with this energy um, that came in reverse, the meditative energy. I do believe that you really were contemplating about the future, about what you wanted, um, about opening your heart or your heart chakra energy as well. With the Queen of Wands energy, it talks about someone who is brilliant, um, independent, even controlling, of course, because you're a passionate person. There's nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate the ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. So maybe you, that's what you were wondering about, trying to make a choice about um, how can you bring balance to this? How can you be more loving? How can you be more softer? Because maybe you were too focused on your career energy. Very possible with the Page of Pentacles here and all those books. Um, like a bookworm energy, but you've come to some decision and it's like an executive decision that you want to no longer have to think about it. You've made a choice. You're going to get over the past. Something here with the three of swords energy, um, you're going to release it. Now, let me try and figure out what this three of swords was about. Well, it's just a transformation of some sort, but there's also an energy here of you either getting financially, um, more financially secure or a financial offer. That could also be what you were contemplating about. You could have two situations going on, Libra, one that has to do with finances and also one that has to do with matters of the heart. So in regards to the finances, I see you uh, going for something you're very passionate about, going for something you love, no longer putting it on pause, no longer overthinking it, okay? But in regards to the love situation here, I also see um, you putting an end to a past heartache to allow a renewal to happen. But you truly do have to release and go through that death energy here um, to get to that, Okay, so with the Three of Swords, this talks about a great sadness that will heal with time, letting go of the past, personal growth that comes from challenges, healing misunderstandings, being there for those in need. And we're going to clarify all of this, right? But I do feel that you're going to be healing from a situation um, in regards to your heart energy and releasing that and then having a new beginning come to you. There's like something to do with your, I feel like your finances or whatever this top row is referring to that you're really thinking about that you need to make a decision about or you need to release in order to allow this renewal to happen is what I'm getting here with that. Um, this can be two people coming back together with the renewal. I mean, how else do you say that? And this is judgment, by the way. So reviewing the past with compassion, forgiveness, time to heal, um, clarity on your life purpose, in your heart, you know what to do. It's weird. I almost feel like your business and your heart uh, energies are combined for some reason. So maybe you just had a lot on your head in general and you kind of had to surrender and allow things to start going smoothly. Well, you know, when you're thinking negatively about something, it can affect everything. And I'm not saying you were thinking negatively, but maybe you were stressing out about matters of the heart and then it was causing some delay or some stagnancy in matters of finances or matters in choices and choosing what you want to do with finances or career. Um, but anyhow, there's definitely release happening with that and a renewal, a coming back together with something and someone you love. So it can be both. Okay, let's see what we have here for the Four of Swords. 
Clarification. Okay, definitely taking your power back. Three of Swords, Clarification. Renewal. Well, I mean, they want to come back out together. I mean, totally twin flame energy coming out there. I have to take them both out. And the releasing. Okay, so we're putting that there. So what's happening here? Okay, so there's you're going to get into something. Like, you're going to take this chance. You're going to go and do something. I'm not sure if it has to do with work or travel or whatever you were thinking about real heavily. Um, you're making this decision and you're saying, okay, I'm going to do it. This is also, it's not easy. It's weird. Balance between, between career and passion, personal life. It's weird. Wherever you're going um, or whatever you're doing, you're having a new beginning as well, possibly in career or in an emotional passionate situation. So with the page of pentacles here, we have the ace of wands. You're going to go for what you want. Um, you're going to take the action to go in the direction of the future, to be clear and decisive, to no longer stagnate. And I really feel that that has to do with business, to be honest. But down here, we definitely have a love situation. Um, you're no longer going to be suffering in silence is what I'm getting as well. Like there's, there's, a power in your determination now and you're just like f you all f everything that was holding me back in regards to the past hurts i have i'm done with you i'm out of here goodbye and then you're moving to this renewal of love with someone like it could honestly be your twin it really could it could be someone that kind of um you know, it's interesting too. Someone could be coming in because you've healed your heart. And they could come in and, you know, kind of pick you up a little bit. But I do feel that this is a renewal because we have the renewal energy right there that it's clarifying, right? And with the release, I, this was, it looked like it was in reverse. I don't know what it was, but I do feel anyhow that someone's been released. It's this person here, this little sneak behind there. Um, they've been released. So now you can move forward and have some new beginning somewhere. It's actually quite a powerful reading. And I act, I'm feeling that it's more likely that someone you're dealing with has also had a wake-up call. Like, I do feel like you were on pause or whatever, but they've had a wake-up call and you've healed um, and they just come in. Maybe they say F you to everyone that was holding them back. Maybe there was a situation holding someone back and it was breaking your heart. And this person is coming in like a... A night in the wind. You know, it's like, come with me. Let's let's go. Let's go. Um, this person may want to travel. This person may be somehow connected to your work or something like that, right? It's weird. I don't think you need saving, but I feel like someone's coming to save you or something like this. Like, they're coming in. It is someone coming back to you, Libra. Um Interesting. It is someone coming back. Okay, let's get some. There's a new beginning happening. This person might beg for a new beginning. Isn't that weird? Okay, so two cards, one for you and your person. So we have one person here, the knight, probably that person coming back. Loyalty, romance, and chivalry, a love of honor. Beautiful. And the other energy we have is the child wounded. The light attributes is this is awakening compassion and desire to serve others. Wounded children opens the learning path for forgiveness. Um, I almost feel like maybe that has something to do with what you're working with. Maybe you're going to be working with wounded people or wounded children, or that's what you're passionate about, or that's what you're contemplating about. Um, this can also be that you are a very healing person. Maybe you were a wounded child, right? And um, there's something connected there that you may have had to release, okay? Or it could have been holding this back. Maybe that was the heartache with the wounded child as well. Um, but whatever it is, you still have someone coming in. Even if you're having a wounded child heartache or if it's a love heartache, there's double night energy here and it's like coming in, okay? Um, but you are protected, you can both be wounded child children in your own way, actually, because there's like a grandma there holding two people, a boy and a girl. 
Okay, so Libra, it looks like that's the message. And then I have the two people here too. I feel like you two are heavily connected. And like I said, it's possibly a twin flame um, connection with these type of cards coming out together to clarify a renewal. Let me show you this, sorry. So difficult to hold the cards at this angle, but you get the point of the importance. Look at that, how beautiful. Coming together with your twin, possibly. Okay, bye for now, Libra. Thank you so much for joining me. As I said, all my info is below if you'd like to book yourself a personal reading or check out whatever else I have to offer there because there's different things I offer. Bye for now.